pad cluster, broadly speaking, was looking at probabilistic in architecture and how that could affect the design. They split that objective up in several pieces and that was basically generating a neighborhood which has a probability and then deriving a design from that neighborhood, which then as a result, as an output, would hopefully have a probability as well. In the beginning, we started out with the, with the urban part, which meant creating a street grid and generating a neighborhood from that, which is generated by how, how connected the road is, the higher the buildings are. That was the first part, and the second part was to, to generate the building. We showed them what we would want to do, and people really like, took advantage of it and just ran off with it. So some to put way more time into the urban part, other people used more time on the building part. Um, so we had, uh, the outcome was actually a very colorful outcome. In the end, we tried to have a clear print of a design that shows the, the variations of the outcome of the design with the standard and the, and the mean and the deviations. I think what I learned for myself during the week is that you cannot escape design. You can try and make it a box, but there's always your design input. And, and you, cannot, uh, you cannot pretend that you didn't set the parameters in a way because you wanted something to come out. Once you accept that, you, you can as well just go and run with it. So I got the most beautiful results when I actually had a very exact design in mind. And I just, in the boundaries of what my design, I wanted my design to look like, I let it optimize for something. And I think that's exactly how, how you should use it. You should never forget that you're a designer and, and, and you're gonna steer it anyway. So just, you know, take the additional uh, benefit from it.